Well, in a surprise this afternoon, CM Punk showed up at the Raw show, and he, he went in. Did. You know, he he I, apparently he flew from from Florida to um, Chicago on a flight with a lot of the talent. Yeah, yeah. And he showed up, and he went in and. Talked to some people for a while. I would say talk, probably talk, about 20, 25 minutes. Talked to Paul Levesque. That was the main guy he talked to. Hmm. And then uh, he was asked to leave. Yep. What is going on here? Well, if I, you know, if I, if I say what I think, I'll be as reckless as all the people who say what they say about us. So I'm not going to say anything. I, we all have our theories and, uh, you know. Whatever, um, you know. I mean, I throw my th theory past a bunch of people today, including you, and every one of them said that, and including people who know him very well, bet much better than I do, and they all said you you were spot on. So uh, my theory is is that uh, I was spot on. <laughs> he's well, got, he's he's he did what he did, and it's not it's not really a surprise, you know, whether it's. Um, you know, I mean, I, I'm I'm sure he has his. Well, way. people were very surprised. I mean, P people were very surprised on both. People on, were very and, surprised in AEW. They were very surprised in WWE. Very surprised in WWE. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah. And, and um, the feeling in WWE, you know, was that he was there because he wanted back. Whether that's true or not, I have no idea. I mean, we obviously, you know, there were talks of him going back um, shortly. You know, like whatever it was around. You know, later, late last year. But, I mean, he couldn't go because he was still under contract. So, um, and my impression is is that, um, you know, this was with Paul Levesque in charge and not Vince. And, um, you know, my impression was is that they didn't have any interest in him at that time. Um, so, whatever. But, um, you know, now he's, you know, I mean, was it a publicity stunt for him to get publicity? Was it... What I would, I mean, I don't know. You'd have to ask him what, what his reasons were. Obviously, you know, the announcement of him coming back to AEW in theory was going to be any time now. You know, the announcement that the new TV show would be any time now. So I'm sure it all ties together in some way. And he'll have to figure out, you know, I mean, if he wants to say what his motives were, you know, what his reasons were, you know. He can say it, um, but I, you know, obviously, all of those things, you know, the timing of everything is suspicious. You know, just because, let's face it, you know, I mean, WWE has been, you know, doing shows for many, many, many years since he left the company, and choosing to go there uh, right before the announcement that AEW was going to make, for whatever reason. Um, I'm sure there's a reason in his head why he did that. I mean, it wasn't just, I mean, it's not like he was walking down the street. No, oh, you know, and, um, you know, it is interesting, too, because a lot of people, a lot of people pointed out to me today about, you know, the the entire thing that started all, all of this, the balls rolling, which is the fallout with, of CM Punk and Colt Cabana, came because Colt Cabana went and visited some of his friends that were at, um, I don't know, remember it was NXT or, or WWE, but they were friends of his, you know, very good friends of his from the indie scene that he went to visit at a show while the lawsuit was going on and, and Punk was furious at him for doing that. The main event, I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There was the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Really? Hate Why do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> it doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Rowan. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune. Mm hmm And by E. By okay. E? He said by E. Big E, I Big guess. E. Okay. Big E. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
for your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Comic book villain. I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.